Now, we heard the story about the general on the verge of accepting um, the contract from the NFF amidst all the um, conditions laid out on that contract. What would be your reaction? How would you comment on this? Because some think that this is a plot to send General packing, while um, some believe that if he takes it, he will lead Nigeria forward. Anyway, I don't know, I don't know about plots to send him packing. Hmm. Uh, I have been an advocate of uh, the end of foreign coaches in Nigerian football. Hmm. And I stand by that completely. It is very insensitive of people at this time in our history, considering where we are now, with all this uh, coronavirus opening up, uh, opening our eyes to the new reality of the world, for us to now continue to go back to something that has failed us. Mm. And after all, didn't succeed. He took all that money, he didn't spend his time in this country, a, a black young Nigerian man, Tindia Adelakun, was the one doing all the job, combing the whole of Europe to look for players. And all the nature was doing was spending two days to assemble players and play matches. And despite that, his score, his score line is not, is not anything that Nigerians have not done before. So we must put an end to this slavery and colonial mentality. So this thing that says only white is right and black is, is wrong. Nigerians at this point have to look inwards. Everything around us just shows that these people out there don't love us. Mm. So they can't love our country more than us. Mm. We have Nigerians who can do the job. They have always done the job. And they can still do the job. Mm. No. So me, General Trump, we have no, we have no business discussing with him. His contract expires end of, of June. He should just go quietly. Hmm. Why should we be discussing him now? Hmm. Now, you, you talk about um, local base coaches. We have players who can actually, we have coaches who can do the job in Nigeria. Remember, we've tried a couple of ex-internationals, and uh, I would not say we failed, but of course, we gave them a trial. The likes of us in the Guavon, there's also Daniela Mokachi, Samson Siasia, um, um, Ulisse, Sunday Ulisse as well. But it looks like the most successful of them all was the late Stephen Keshi. Um, which of these other uh, players, now Joseph Yobo is an assistant to Gennaro Raw. Where do we need, should he go back to the Nigerian Professional Football League to pick see, a coach? See, that's not the kind of question we should be asking. Mm. Nigeria as a country, we are failing. Look at us, look at all spheres of our life. So because of that, do we say we are going to bring back uh, our colonial masters to come and run this country? If we do not give ourselves the opportunity to gather knowledge and experience, how would we ever get out of this slavery mentality mm. that has held us back? This is our country. When Stephen Kessie did it, he took us far. Look, Nigerians don't even remember where we are coming from. Mm. Let me tell you something today. In 1968, 1968 at the Olympic Games, when Nigeria was a small footballing country, we went, we went to Mexico, and we had a Nigerian coach. He played a 2-2 draw against the most powerful footballing country in the world, Brazil. That is Sandra Balogu. Mm. Do you know who coached Nigeria for the victory of the All-Africa game? Mm. That, that's, that's a... a, a, a... He was in that team. That was a long, long time ago. These are Nigerians. Nigerians have capacity if we give them the opportunity and have patience and build them up. So it's not a question of looking at Eguavo, uh, Siasia, and all of that. Even they did their best. I'm not the did his best. Yes. Mm. Let's, let's, let's come back to um, the local league now. Can you compare um, the players that we have in the local league? Because most of these players have not, have not been able to break into the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Should we now give uh, an opportunity to put one or two players from the Nigerian Professional Football League, uh, put them into the Super Eagles of Nigeria? That's not how it works. Mm. It's, the, the, the domestic league, our domestic football has to be strengthened. We are not developing football properly in Nigeria and within Nigeria. Mm. And this has to do with the knowledge, experience of the leadership. 
we are not handling Nigerian football the way we should. Like the rest of the country, we have capacity, human capacity. We have the natural resources. We have the environment. We have the physique. Physically, our players, when you give them technical input, they are, they are supposed to be some of the best in the world. But where are we? We have all of these things. So our domestic league, our domestic grassroots football, our female football at the grassroots, all of those things have to be improved so that the product of those leagues in their quantum will be going into our various national teams. Mm. And it's not that every year one it's only one or two that will emerge and be good enough to go to Europe and so on and so forth. We must have a continuous stream, a continuous stream of good players coming through the, the domestic leagues. Mm. That's what we should do. Once we are not producing them well, how can they go into the national team? Wow. All right. Thank you for your thoughts this morning on the show and, of course, on the story on Gennot Raw. Thank you very much. Steve. All right. Continue Please. to stay safe out there. Slavery and colonial mentality, once and for all. We have <laughs> Nigerians who can do it. All right, thank you very much. That was Ashegun Degbami, the mathematical, uh, speaking on uh, the um, Super Eagles coach, talking about General Ro accepting a new contract from the Nigerian Football Federation.